Hello to everyone. Just going a quick live this uh, Saturday morning. Uh, hope you all are doing very well. I've been really busy uh, ever since my nine to five job started. I've been really busy, and uh, I don't have time or the luxury to go live as much as I did in the past. But uh, today's topic, I think, is so. Uh, what is fear? Have you all uh, experienced fear in your life? And what has fear done to you? So just reflect on those questions. <clears throat> I'm just reading from a book and uh, I think fear has made us run away from so many things, so many opportunities. Uh, we always, uh, I think uh, we take, we, most of us take the flight, flight mode. I think in the past also I've touched about this and uh, again today I came across a very interesting uh, write-up about uh, fear. So most of us, what, what, what we do is we run away from fear. Whenever we are faced with fear, we run away. We don't uh, like to. So in that uh, way, we never, we have this unresolved issues about fear. We don't face the fear properly. We are, uh, we are forever, I think most of us, uh, we always take. But the one who are courageous, who have, uh, who grew, is uh, the ones who take, who face fear. Who takes a step forward and uh, face those uh, fear everyone we are all human beings we all do have fears in us and uh, fear has uh, of course in my life fear has made me also take this flight mode most of the time I've taken this flight mode and uh, I think the more flight mode you take the more uh, bigger it becomes and uh, it's like a uh, inner demons you know chasing you all the way and it's become bigger and bigger. The more you run away, the more uh, it's like uh, it, be it becomes bigger. So, so whenever you are faced with fear, remove all those doubts and fear. Yeah, right. Uh, remove all those thoughts. When you are faced with fears, anyone, it could be students, it could be people working in the office, or it could be anyone, any fears that comes to your life, remove all those thoughts of doubt and fear. Never entertain them for a moment. We all, we are, our mind loves uh, drama. We crave drama, and we love, uh, we love a lot of drama in our life. So never entertain them for a moment. When you are faced with fear, do not entertain them, and uh, always be mindful when when you are faced with your fears. Always be mindful, watchful and aware of your thoughts by simply deciding to be so. So when you are faced, usually we try to just cover up. We don't want to show our vulnerability to others and we just, even to ourselves, we try to you know, hide it, hide it, push it down into our system and then over time it grows. It goes into our system and over time it's going to affect us, you know, our mental well-being, our physical well-being, all this have been affected because of all this uh, issues that are, are that remain unresolved so whenever you catch yourself doubting or fearing or stop those thoughts stop those thoughts whenever you are faced with uh, <clears throat> thoughts or uh, fear stop those thoughts immediately on the track do not let them progress do not encourage them we we tend to you know sp spiral into a lot of our negativity when we are faced with this kind of thoughts and then uh, and then also we should not be encouraging them and but also do not resist them we should not also resist them at the same time while not encouraging putting fuel to fire uh, most of us we indulge we like to indulge and you know, into self-pity and self uh, self-pity mode occasionally so do not encourage those kind of thoughts or nor uh, resist them instead or uh, watch them mindfully detach instead watch them uh, mindfully detach what is that for you fear looks like and uh, just mindfully detach like an uninvolved watcher so you have to be a don't be a thinker but be a watcher i think i've time and again i uh, also said that hello uh, nice to see you whoever that is watching it'll be nice to if you could drop a hi hello oh, oh that chat i'm just going about i'm just talking about the fear and uh, you can have a replay those watching on the replay, please uh, hashtag replay if you're watching on 
replay and i hope you'll find this of value because this is a topic that is very close to my heart and all this uh, as i've experienced a lot of it in my life too instead uh yeah so like an uninvolved watcher always uh, uninvolved be always a watcher of your thought when you have a lot of uh, thoughts coming up in your mind which are mostly negative always be uninvolved watcher observer do not indulge and then become uh, victimized and then be uh, what go into that victim mode and then uh, be indulging and in attachments into those thoughts like you know, running after this uh, attaching too much of this uh, into your thoughts see what they are look at your thoughts really breaking down like look at your thoughts what are they come how do they come from so you have to really analyze where do they come from how why they come to you and how long they last so this will mean you have to really uh, really facing your fear like a fearless tiger so facing your fear and how do they come where do they come from by observing them in this way you'll be able to get behind behind them and get their cause and their dark origins so go into it has come from somewhere go back like it could be a childhood trauma it could be a childhood uh, trauma or something that you have faced in your past it has to come from somewhere it has come somewhere and now you will have to uh, face those really naked truth of that fears that has come to you face it and then no that's how you can resolve uh, this uh, origins get down to the origins of uh, no go into uh, analysis of where this thought come from why do they come and then these are fear are all baseless if you have to no these are all created by our mind and bring a light to them and instead of keeping in the dark bring it into light eventually uh, eliminate all these fears Hi Ratna, nice to see you. And I think uh, other one is Tashi Dorji. Kusa Zangbot, Namaste. Greetings, and I uh, hope you all are both doing very well. Thank you for joining, and uh, I really appreciate. And I'm just talking about the fear. Doubt and fear are the only enemies of your dreams and visions. Whatever we have, all our visions, these are the doubt are the greatest enemy of our our dreams and visions. So always, uh, even in the fear, uh, fears of a contrary, we always. So we always have to be certain every time. Having certainty, having a good intention, having a certainty, and going after that, whatever vision you have, going after that. First, have an intention as a thought. Uh, not not so much about the physical, but more about the thought. Once you have that thought, as you know, that world is just an emptiness, uh, just the illusions. If you go after that, then. Uh, First, have a thought, then uh, form an uh, intentions, have a clarity, and then go after that. So, no, if you if you know that quantum physics, everything is just an illusion. Ninety nine point nine 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 nine. If everything in the world is an illusion, illusion means that you have the power in your mind to tweak or to to rework whatever you want in your life, and then go after that, and then not be not live in fear so this is it for this uh fear facing fear i hope you find it <laughs> yeah find it uh, useful and thank you all for being here and uh, i'm not trying to preach here but being a uh, what a spiritual uh, seeker and uh, learner i'm just sharing whatever i know because whatever you share uh of knowledge will be uh, sharing is learning so I'm also in the process of learning so I love to share and uh, thank you all um, thank you for Ratna and Tashi Doshi I think 